our region's best ball catchers. Runners and toy chewers are hitting the gridiron in the fluffiest event to ever take place at Roanoke Valley Television. Will this be their field of dreams? Hailing from the Regional Center for Animal Care and Protection and Angels of a CC, they'll face each other in a contest that will require strength, agility, and perhaps most of all, doggone cuteness. Who will come home with this year's Canine Cup? Each player has trained all season long for the chance to find an adoptive home. Welcome to the inaugural adopt -a bowl Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural RVTV adopt -a bowl I'm Carol Corbin. And I'm Kaylin Spickler. We've got a positively thrilling matchup today with pups from Team Angels of Assisi versus the pups from the Regional Center for Animal Care and Protection. The rules for today's game are pretty doggone simple. In order to score a touchdown, a player needs to cross the line of either end zone with a toy. That's worth seven points. And a team can also score a field goal by carrying or pushing a toy under or through the goal post. That's worth three points. Tails are wagging and I can hear the pregame hype barks. Let's head down to the field and meet the players. First up for RCACP, we have Shelby, a four-month-old pit mix. Shelby was brought to RCACP as a stray. You know, I'm curious to see how that plays into her paw performance on the field today because she really likes to be around other dogs. That's right. Shelby's the type of dog that feeds off the energy on the field. She'd be great for a household that has other dogs. Next up for Team RCACP is Dennis. Dennis is a pit mixed with German Shepherd. As you can see, he's a formidable opponent for anyone who crosses his path. Dennis is a young player and just super excited to be here. Nicknamed Dennis the Menace in his rookie season, he's still early on in his training. If you're interested in giving Dennis a home, you're going to want to have a lot of energy and lots of toys for him to play with. And rounding out the starting lineup for Team RCACP is Spike. Spike is a two-month-old Dotson healer mix. Even though he was brought in as a stray, he knows almost all his commands and is housebroken. This pup is no bonehead. You know, the adoptable is as much a mental game as it is a physical game. I'd look for Spike to live up to his name and spike some toys in the end zone today. And first up for Team Angels is Bruin. Bruin is a doxy palm. He's feisty and has definitely been hitting the weight room leading up to his adoptable appearance. Bruin is a competitor for sure. Just look at him inspecting the field and the balls for proper inflation. No deflate gate scandal at this adoptable. This next player has everyone's hearts. Meet Lasagna. Lasagna is a six-week-old rookie brought to Angels from Monroe County. She's still learning the game and is a little groggy from the trip over, but she's resilient and may surprise folks today. Oh my gosh, look how tiny she is. I understand she's going to grow a lot more. That's right, Kaylin. Lasagna is going to be a big girl one day, but don't let her size fool you. Lasagna is a ferocious competitor. And our last starter for Team Angels is Brady, another doxy pom. Brady? Any relation to Tom? No, but he is related to Bruin, who we introduced earlier. They're brothers. Wow, brothers, sharing the spotlight for the big game. I've also heard that Brady is dating Tay per Swift. I'm such a huge fan of her. I'm in my speak meow era. Who isn't? We also have a special guest referee, Gordon. Gordon is a four-month-old doodle. She's going to be on the field making sure the rules are followed and no one is too rough. Gordon's a natural in her ruffery stripes, but it is her first time calling a game. We'll see how she does alongside our human referees. Earlier today, we caught up with the coaches from both Angels and RCACP. Let's hear a little bit about them in our coach profiles. This is Coach Sherlock for Team RCACP. Sherlock has been around about 10 years. He is a beagle that is housebroken and good with other animals and children. He told his puppy teammates to stay hydrated, play hard, and take those toys to the end zone. For Team Angels, we have Coach Fern. Fern is about eight years old, a senior dog from the Monroe County Rescue. She is good with other dogs and her puppy teammates. Her advice, be cute, be confident, and no number two penalties. And don't forget, all the dogs shown today are up for adoption. 
Did you know that I adopted my dog Julius when he was just a puppy? And he loves to play football in the yard and he would have been MVP. You're doggone right, Carol. Well, and after playing, he also enjoys taking some pretty ferocious naps. Well, it's just about time to unleash the fun. Let's head back down to the field. Let the first annual adoptable begin. And we're off and running. The pups are getting acquainted with the field. And here's Dennis looking downright intimidating facing off against Brady. Everyone is saying hello in their own special way. We've got some trash talk happening over here from lasagna. That's a big bark for a little dog. Team Angels guards its side of the field. But here comes Dennis. Oh, poor lasagna. Yeah, that's gonna be unnecessary roughness. Let's see that again. You can see Dennis is just coming towards that ball at full speed, and then he makes a last minute move and just tramples lasagna. And look at Bruin sticking up for his teammate. He said, you're barking up the wrong tree. Bruin and Brady stand guard in the end zone. Dennis takes a step to his left. He has the ball, he's headed for the end zone, and he's stopped by his own teammates. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to hand off to Shelby or Spike, and they just didn't get the memo on that. Then Lasagna came in and forced a fumble. Great defense by Team Angels. Dennis isn't done yet. He's got the ball at midfield. Oh, oh, fumbled again. Brady tries to recover, but Dennis isn't having it. He forces him back deep into the end zone. This is good situational awareness here by Brady, but ultimately Dennis wins the battle and keeps Angels away from the ball. Let's listen in on some of the action. Gordon's keeping an eye on things in the end zone with Team Angels. And Team RCACP is huddled together on the opposite side of the field. It looks like we've got ourselves a defensive matchup. Neither team is backing down. They're really making it difficult to score. Looks like it's time for a hydration break at the Western Virginia Water Authority Hydration Station. All the water on today's broadcast is provided by the Water Authority. Let's go ahead and take a break and hear a word from them. The 2024 Adoptable is brought to you by Water. The Western Virginia Water Authority is proud to protect and manage essential water resources through the delivery of quality water and wastewater services to our customers. We are honored to sponsor the Adoptable for some of our favorite furry customers. The Water Authority maintains over 6,000 fire hydrants. Did you know that fire hydrants are color-coded to represent their flow rate? He's thinking about a different type of flow rate. Carvin's Cove is our valley's largest drinking water source. This 12,000 acre watershed is a wonderful place to put a leash on your four-legged friend, enjoy the views, and get some fresh air. It's important to protect this watershed from pollutants. One way you can keep our waterways clean is by picking up after your pets. Don't forget, scoop the poop! You can't have clean puppies without clean water. Our water treatment operators work 24 seven to make sure you have access to great water every day of the year even during the big game. No water, no wag. Water distribution operators work hard to make sure you and your pup have clean drinking water delivered to your home so you can fill up your pet's bowl and your favorite water bottle. The Western Virginia Water Authority, proud sponsor of the inaugural Adoptable. Welcome back to the RVTV Adoptable. While we were away for the break, our referee Gordon tried to make an escape She's been replaced by Mikhail, a three-month-old shepherd mix. And it looks like fatigue has set in for lasagna too, and we have a substitution for Team Angels. Bailey, a four-month-old German shepherd, has entered the game. Having a player with a fresh set of legs is great at this point in the game. Check out that stylish visor she's wearing. The newcomers are getting acquainted with each other. I have a feeling we'll start seeing some action soon. It really looks like they're having a furrific time out there, Carol. They sure are, Kaylin. It looks like Mikhail is pretty interested in Spike. As a referee, you're not supposed to pick favorites, though. We'll see how this one shakes out. Kaylin, I'm being told there's an injury on the field. I can't really tell who it is, but the vet team from RCACP has a stretcher out. It looks like it's Dennis being carried out. Wow, his team is going to miss him. Let's hope he bounces back soon. You know he's in good hands with the folks from RCACP. Let's take a little pause and hear a little bit more from the veterinarians for the team. Helping keep the athletes healthy for team, our CACP, is veterinarian Dr. Hillary Rader. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Hillary Rader, and I'm the new veterinarian here at the Regional Center for Animal Care and Protection. Um, I started back in October, um, and I'm loving it so far, taking care of all of the homeless pet animals in our uh, community, um, getting them healthy and ready to go to their forever homes. You know, we recently held a vaccine clinic to get the community dogs in the area vaccinated against Bordetella because that is very important. Um, making sure that your pets at home are up to date on that vaccine, even if they're not boarded or kenneled anywhere, just in case they ever get loose and do have to come over to the shelter. If you'd like more information on any dog on the team, go to www.rchcp.org. Now back to the adopt a bull. We are back and we have some good news to report. Dennis is back in the game. Yeah, he's got that front right leg taped up and he's ready to go. He's rough and tough. I know Team RCACP is happy to be back full strength. Interesting development here, Kaylin. Our referee, Mikhail, is really showing some favoritism to Spike. And I'm not sure if we can show this or not. Yeah, that's gonna be a penalty for illegal touching. I didn't even know a referee could get a penalty. We've got some good action happening down in the red zone. Almost every player is down here. We've got a ball on the line. If someone knocks it in there, that would be our first score. Ooh, but Spike comes in clutch with a rear paw knocking the ball out of the end zone. Let's see that again. This was the closest we've been to a score yet, but Team RCACP turned it on when it mattered most and kept Brady and Team Angels from scoring. And that's gonna bring us to the end of the first half. We're still scoreless, but this defensive battle has still been very entertaining. We're going to take a quick break and hear from our friends at Angels of Assisi. Stay tuned because the Adoptable Halftime Show featuring the kittens of RCACP is coming up next. Across the gridiron in today's competition are the puppies from Team Angels of Assisi. Uh, Angels of Assisi, we're here to help people keep their pets happy and healthy. We offer basic vaccinations. We offer spay and neuter, which is very important. We also offer um, soft tissue surgery, so like mask removals. Sometimes cats have problems where they get blocked and they'll need some help. And as we can, we also do emergency care. We also have a farm sanctuary, so we've helped take in goats um, from a big rescue. We've helped take in a lot of rabbits from other rescues. We always get some pot belly pigs that come in. So Angels of Assisi, we do a lot of dogs and cats, but we also do farm animals. For information on any of the players on team, Angels go to www.angelsofassisi.org. Now it's time for the Adopt a Bull Halftime Show, starring the kittens from RCACP. We're the cheerleaders. Yay! Where are we? At the adopt a bowl. What are we supposed to do? A cheer. Nope. Not today. Oh, come on. One cheer? All right. Okay. Let's go. We've, We've got, got leashes. leashes. Yes, yes, we, we do. do. We've, We've got, got leashes. leashes. How, How about, about you? you? Adopters, Adopters are the best, are the best you know? You know. They, they take, take us, us home, home and watch, and us, watch grow. us grow. Yay! Yeah. That's it for the halftime show. Stay tuned for the second half of the Adopt a Bull. Wow, I am speechless. What a meowvelous performance from the RCACP kittens. It doesn't get much better than this, Kaylin. No kitten, Carol. I've seen them perform before, and it can be a little like herding cats, but this is a halftime show we'll remember for decades. Back to the action on the field. The second half of the Adoptable has begun. The energy here has been off the chain. I have a feeling that this will be an action-packed second half. Spike stands guard on top of the ball, and that ball's about the same size as he is, and now he's sniffing out the end zone. He's in a foot race with Brady, but Brady said not today. The toys are squeaking in this stadium and the tension is high. Here's someone we haven't heard from in a while, Shelby with a surprise attempt at a field goal. Oh, and it hits the upright. Ooh, the doggy doink. So close to going in for three. Spike and Bailey are in gridlock. Spike's at a huge size disadvantage, but he's holding his own against her. Uh-oh, looks like Shelby is a little pooped. I'd say so. That's gonna be a number two penalty and a personal foul. She's gonna have to sit out on the sideline for a bit. 
Luckily, our human referees are at the ready with their poop bags. And this is a good time to remind you to scoop the poop. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Exactly right. I don't want to step in that, and it keeps harmful bacteria from entering our storm drains and waterways. Big shout out again to our reps from Angels and RCACP for handling the cleanup with ease. Let's head back down to the action on the field. Here comes Bailey with a toy headed towards the end zone, and she changes direction. But wait a minute, this might be part of a strategy to throw them off. She heads back the opposite direction towards the other end zone, and oh, almost. So close. You can see that front paw on the line, but it's got to cross into the paint in the end zone to be considered a touchdown. Down to the other side of the field, though, Spike has the toy, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, RCACP! Incredible effort there by Spike. He's been known to use this play in regular season. It's called the squeak sneak. Nobody even knew he had the ball, and Dennis followed right in behind him, making sure he got there. We finally got some points on the board. Your score, 7-0, Team RCACP. Brady's protesting that play over in the opposite end zone, too. That's going to be another number two penalty and a personal foul. Very foul. Luckily, we have a team of refs to disinfect the spot of the foul. Thank you for your service. Brady, now in the opposite end zone, stands guard. And here comes Bailey with a toy heading to the end zone. And she's stopped. She's taking another lap, though. Same route with a little more speed, and she's in there this time. Touchdown, Team Angels. That's going to tie things up here at the RVTV Adoptable. The score is 7-7. I had a feeling we'd see some action this half. I could feel it in my bones. Bailey, playing like a champ out here today and taking a much needed breather. And there's a banana on the field? Bailey, back on her feet, scoops it up and heads straight towards the Angels' end zone. But Brady and Bruin, the brothers, stand guard. And she goes the opposite way with the open field. Shelby, the only defender, and she's in for another Team Angels touchdown. Team Angels reached into the bag of tricks for that one. Bailey faked out Team RCACP by heading toward the one end zone and then completely running the other direction. This is just a textbook slant route here by Bailey, leaving Shelby in the dust. And the whole time that was happening, on the other side of the field, Spike crossed the line with another toy, another squeak sneak. Simultaneous touchdowns. What a game we've got here, folks. That makes it 14 all. Just incredible athleticism out here, and I don't think they're done yet. Check out Brady over here with the touchdown celebration. Those are some moves. Spike's really got it going on now. He picks up another toy and scoring distance, finds a hole and he's in again. Touchdown RCACP. That's going to take Team RCACP up to a seven point lead, 21-14. Wow, what a second half we've had here, Carol. It's been the Bailey and Spike show. Spike with three touchdowns for the day and Bailey with two. It's definitely picked up the pace, Kaylin. I can't wait to see what happens next. But let's take another brief pause and hear a little bit more about RCACP. Well, RCACP is the local government shelter which serves uh, the counties of Roanoke County, Botetourt, the city of Roanoke, and also the town of Benton. And we are the animal shelter that all the animal control officers bring stray and unwanted animals to. And we take care of them and hopefully uh, if they all pass our evaluation then we try to get them adopted. Well, I'd like to see the, the intake uh, get reduced by people in the, in the community that uh, follow the strict spayed and neuter um, protocols, get their animals spayed and neutered so that we can reduce the amount of animals that come in, and just be responsible for the animal and realize that there's no judgment zone here. If you do lose your animal, just come pick it up. We just have so many animals that are lost in the valley and people just fail to come and get them. And, um, we don't judge. We know that the fence gets left open and, and dogs get away and we just ask that people come pick them up. A very low fee in picking them up and most of the time we can, we can waive that or find another alternative so that they're not paying out of pocket expenses so they can get their animal. If you'd like more information on any dog on the team, go to www.rcacp.org. And we're back with more coverage of the RVTV Adoptable. Carol, what's happening on the field right now? Here comes Spike again. This guy is fast and his teammate Dennis is right behind him every time. That's another touchdown for Team RCACP. Our stat keepers are having a tough time keeping up now. It's 28-14 RCACP. Shelby and Bailey getting a little physical near midfield. This is a rivalry like no other. 
with the game on the line. Things are starting to get heated, but there's Dennis with the toy just moseying into the end zone. The ref signals for it, and it's a touchdown, 35-14 RCACP. Bailey pauses for a water break. She makes a run for the end zone with Shelby close behind, but Shelby has second thoughts and zooms back downfield. All the while, Brady pushes a toy through the uprights. That's a field goal for Team Angels. Late in the second half, the score is 35-17. Team RCACP still has the lead, but Team Angels hasn't given up yet. And I'm sure Taper Swift is happy to see her man performing so well out there. Bailey maneuvers underneath the uprights, forcing Brady deep into the end zone. She scoops up the toy and sprints downfield, but she's stopped by Shelby. These two have been defending each other all half. <laughs> and frustration is setting in for Team Angels. Brady's in the end zone trying to give his team a little pup talk. Bailey jumps up and races Shelby to the toy at midfield. Bailey picks it up with wide open field and she's in there for seven. Let's take another look at that speed getting to the toy and then it was all Bailey just trotting into the end zone. She tossed that toy to a fan too. Team Angels is sniffing out a comeback. Can they do it? The score is now 35-24 and honestly anything can happen at the adoptable. Lots of activity down in the Angels end zone. Looks like a little scuffle between teammates. Maybe Brady is upset about the team's performance. I'm not sure, Carol, but it's certainly not helping. <laughs> Bailey is in perfect position for a chip shot field goal. Can't she make it? She lies down in kicking position. <laughs> Barks. Fakes the kick. Fakes it again and gives it the ball and it's through. That's a field goal for Team Angels. That's gonna make it 35-27 RCACP. Do you smell that, Kaylin? Yes, yes I do. No, not that smell. The comeback, it's happening. Oh yeah, there's not much time left though. Can Team Angels pull it off? Bailey, Shelby, and Spike are all at midfield. This looks like another trick play. Spike grabs the ball and sprints towards the end zone, and that's a touchdown for RCACP. Brilliant moves here, Carol. Shelby was running the distraction, and Spike, who's been taking a break over in the corner the last several plays, just got his burst of energy and took it to the doghouse. With just a few seconds left, RCACP leads 42-27, and the Angels are gonna need a miracle to win this one now. Spike deserves a treat after that game. Don't say the word treat too loud. This guy has been unstoppable today. That's his fifth touchdown. The pups are going to sleep well tonight. They've really been giving it their all out there. With just a few ticks left on the clock, I think Team RCACP can start celebrating. Let's listen in on the field. Game. And there you have it, folks. The RVTV Adoptable is in the books. Your final score is 42-27, Team RCACP. You know, Carol, I'm impressed how neither team backed down. It's almost like that Western Virginia Water Authority water break is what everyone needed. They certainly played a great game out there. Let's head back down to the field for the Adoptable Canine Cup presentation. Presenting the first annual Adoptable RCACP one. And now we have a few awards to announce from today's Paw Formance. Starting with the biggest award for the littlest dog, Rookie of the Year goes to no other than Lasagna. For such a little six week old, she had a great time taking down dogs two, three, four times her size. Well, and let's keep counting. Our MVP can go to no other than Spike. Spike had five touchdowns today, earning him this top award. What a performance from Spike. Absolutely. And we have one final award that cannot go unnoticed. The award for coolest girlfriend goes to no other than Brady for his Taper Swift relationship. I mean, I think that that's probably the award we were all waiting for. Oh, absolutely. Seeing her in the stands has everyone excited. Absolutely. On behalf of RVTV, RCACP, and Angels of Assisi, we thank you for joining us for the inaugural Adoptable. And remember, adopt, don't shop. Stay tuned for the post-game interview where I sit down with our MVP, Spike, and director of RCACP, Mike Warner. <laughs>
Coming up next is the post-game show. But first, a message from RVTV. RVTV adopt a bowl post game show with Carol Corbin, Mike Warner, and adopt a bowl MVP Spike. How do you feel about winning the first ever Roanoke Valley adoptable? It was a fantastic game, and I just feel very excited for our animals, for our dogs coming in today, and all the training that they've done. It's just been a fantastic game, and just uh, proud to represent RCACP. And you have with you Spike, who is our MVP. Can you tell us how Spike prepared for today's game? Spike has been eating great nutritional food that our vet has been providing for us and been training. And um, we've been doing uh, two, trains, two training days a day and they just really have been able to show off the animals. Well, and he's definitely worn out from all that hard work today. As you can tell, he is exhausted. He, he, is played, exhausted. he played his heart out today and that's what uh, allowed him to win the MVP. Um, how can someone get in touch with you or Angels of Assisi to look at some of your players? Well, they can log on to both websites. Uh, AOA and RCACP have websites. They can fill out an adoption application and we encourage the citizens of the Valley uh, to go by and look at the animals that both agencies have. Um, we're partners with AOA. They do pull animals for us and adopt them, so it would be great if the citizens would reach out to both. And we're just excited that AOA was our first inaugural bowl. And, uh, we just look forward to other teams coming forward in the years to come. They can also see some of the veteran players you have that are a little too old for this year's game. That's true. We've got a lot of them that have been in the shelters for a long period of time and just uh, look on our website and fill out an application. Let's try to move them out. Absolutely. Thank you. This has been the inaugural RVTV Adopt a Bowl. Any reproduction of this telecast without the express written consent of RVTV is prohibited.